Okay, so let's start with the first group of hydrocarbons. I've already mentioned their name. They are called the alkanes. And the alkanes, um, they only contain single covalent bonds between their carbon atoms. And this means they are highly saturated. They are saturated compounds, which we've already spoken about. And one of the properties is that they are quite unreactive. Now, um, let's see. This is the first alkane. This is the general formula, which we will speak about in a moment. Okay. The general formula for alkanes. And this over here, this over here is the first alkane and it has a name methane. Right. Okay. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to talk about the first three um, first three alkanes. Right. So the first alkane is got one carbon, like so just single bonds and a hydrogen and a hydrogen over there and this alkane has how many carbons ask yourself how many carbons it has one carbon now because it's got one carbon its name will start with meth now it is a hydrocarbon now it's a hydrocarbon with only single bonds hydrocarbon with only single bonds and only contains hydrogen and carbon so we call it methane because it belongs to the alkanes it is part of the alkanes the next one and you should be drawing this out as well because you need to learn physics actively it becomes a skill or chemistry in this case okay so how many carbons in the longest chain here two carbons very good and what do we call two carbon atoms now go to your summary sheet look back at your summary sheet well if we look over there we can see on the summary sheet we've got eth, right? We've got eth. We've got ethane, right? So on the summary sheet we've got eth, and let's just pull that up again. So two carbons is eth, right? And it's only got single bonds and it's part of the alkanes, so it becomes ethane, right? Let's look at another one. What about this one? Now look very carefully. Can you see that we've only got four little lines of four bonds around every carbon atom? Because you must have four bonds around it. It's got four valence electrons that allows it to have four of these lines around it. Okay, so how many carbons? Three carbons, very good. Okay, three carbons. And three carbons, three carbons is what? Three carbons is prop, P-R-O-P. So let's get back to that. Three carbons is prop, so we need to nick the name P-R-O-P. Single bonds between the carbons, single bonds between the carbons, and it is a hydrocarbon of the alkane family, so it is called propane. Okay, so let's try two more, and I, I suggest you draw out this one as well. Right. Almost there, almost there. Right. Be sure to put in all your hydrogens. Okay. So let's see. Let's go back to this. Let's see. What have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five carbons in the longest chain over there. And let's see what exactly is five carbons. Let's go to five. Five is pent. Remember, refer back to your sheet until it becomes second nature. Okay, five carbons is pent, so let's get that back. And it is a hydrocarbon with single bonds between the carbons, so it's of the alkane family, and therefore we append the name pentane. Right, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, good practice to draw all of these out. Be sure to fill in all those hydrogens. Don't be lazy. I know some teachers don't put it all in, but you need to practice putting it all in because you cannot leave any of these out in the examinations. Oops. Right. Okay, let's see. How many carbons do we have? And if I were to number them, I can label them. That's one, that's two, that's three that's four carbons, that's five, that's six, and that is seven. 
Okay, so we got seven carbons. Seven carbons. What does seven carbons look like? Seven carbons is hept. So we go to hept, right? And seven carbons is hept. So we got to put the H E P T. Uh, it is a single bonded, uh, single bonds between the carbons and belongs to the alkane family. So we add on ane. Now, this is reminding us of something, and I'm just going to pull up a new pad here and say, well, in the name heptane, the first part told us the number of carbons, right? And maybe we should use a, a blue pen to indicate that. That was the number of carbon atoms in the main chain. The number of carbon atoms in the main, ooh, in the main chain, right? And then the name continued. The name was heptane. The second part of the name indicated that it belongs to the alkanes, right? And what does that tell us? That tells us the family it belongs to. It tells us which homologous series it belongs to. Right, there we go. Okay, so that's something we can already see happening from now on. We can see that it's telling us that's the number of carbon atoms in the main chain and it belongs to the homologous series of the alkanes. If we go back and we see what's happening over here, similarly that told us there's five carbons, that told us that it is an alkane. Over here, three carbons, that told us it was three carbons, and that over there told us it belongs to the alkanes. Right. One carbon is meth, two carbons is eth, three carbons is prop, five carbons is pent, and seven carbons is het. And if we go back over here, you can clearly see meth, eth, prop, but, pent, hex, hept, oct, non, and dec. Right. Okay, so let's get back to the hydrocarbons. Um, okay. So I'm going to do a separate video on general formulae, right? But for now, we can see what a general formula looks like. So I'm going to talk about a general formula. Oops, what just happened there? Right, general formula for the alkanes. The general formula for the alkanes, in other words, the hydrocarbons that consist of only single bonds and only hydrogen and carbon, because that's what's a hydrocarbon, is CNH. 2n plus 2. This means whatever you plug in for n, let's say I plug in 1, then h is going to be 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2, which is going to be 4. Let's say I plug in 5, c5 is going to be 2 times 5 plus 2 is going to be h12. What if I plug in 7? c7, 2 times 7 is 12, uh, sorry, 14 plus 2 is going to be 16. So there you can see what a general formula looks like. This general formula tells us the number of carbon atoms and the number of hydrogen atoms in the molecule. Now let's go back here. Let's see. How many carbon atoms do I have? Well, let's get a black pen going over there. How many carbon atoms do I have? I've got seven carbon atoms. I've got three, four, five. Let's just say that is seven and another seven that gives us 14. 15 and 16. So that is H16. And this conforms to the general formula Cn H 2n plus 2 because when I put 7 in there I get 2 multiplied by 7 plus 2 and that part gives me the 16. Oops. And this part gives me the 7. What about this one? The general formula over here is going to be 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3 carbon, 4 carbon, 5 carbon. So C5, how many hydrogens? That's 5, that's another 5, gives us 10, 11, and 12, 12 hydrogens. And that also conforms to the formula CnH2n, oops, let's just clean that up, 2n plus 2. Now, you tell me what's the general formula for this one. Pause the video, write it out and then give me the answer. That's right, it's C3H8.
Okay, general formula over here, give it to me please. It's CH4, that means C1 or CH4, and this one is C2H6, 2, 4, 6 hydrogen. Okay, so there you can see we've done all the general formulae, but like I said, I will tackle it in a separate video again to discuss the general formulae.